What's up guys? I'm back again with another personal video. This is a life update after living abroad for six months now in South America and other places in the world. I just want to give you guys an update on what's happening with me and you know my current state. Uh, as you guys know, I've been, you know, pretty much uh, trying to recover from, you know, being so isolated. And, you know, currently I'm here in Cusco, Peru. And uh, so I'll touch on, you know, has my situation improved as far as uh, social? Uh, I gotta say, strangely, since being far away from home, it has actually forced me or encouraged me to be more social, especially since I have to adapt to learning a new language. Um, in Brazil, you know, it's not too much of an issue because I've already been studying Portuguese for several years, so I'm good with that, but I have been moving around a little bit outside of Brazil. Uh, currently, I've been going to a different places in South America, like uh, Argentina, uh, Chile, and now Peru. So the fact that I have to step outside my comfort zone because of the language, it's actually helped me become more social and interact more with people. So I would say that's a positive. Um, and, uh, you know, still you know, not, not forming any strong bonds or anything, but at least, you know, starting to get out of the house a little bit more and uh, talk more and, you know, be more social. So I can say that my, in my isolation, my social, has actually improved. Yeah. Oh, uh, viva Cusco! Hey, yeah. Aguante Cusco, loco! Oh. Aguante Argentina, guacho! Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, people very friendly also. Uh, but, yeah, so that's my situation as far as uh, how I've been coming along as far as being isolated. Uh, Another thing, dog going crazy over there. <laughs> Cute dog. <laughs> it's all good. He ain't dangerous. <laughs> but yeah, another thing I want to touch on is uh, a lot of people have been asking me about safety. You know, like, is it safe in Latin America? You know, a lot of people saying, yeah, you're in for some trouble. But, as you can see, people are very friendly. Uh, I've been around several different countries and not just in the tourist zones, you know, because I'm also looking for a place to stay in one of these countries that I'm moving around to. I'm still kind of doing research, haven't made any permanent decision yet. So uh, yeah, going around all around the city, not just tourist zones and people pretty much just, you know, going about their day, you know, like anybody else do. And uh, if you don't speak, you know, they don't know what language you speak, so they don't really bother you. But I do say that people do speak to you a lot more here. You know, like, people you don't know, you get on the elevator, they're gonna speak to you. You know, buenos dias, you know. They're gonna talk. That's one thing that I do like, you know, and it don't matter what they look like, whether they're a dime piece or, you know, a one. Everybody is very friendly, you know, very sociable. And that kind of helped me a lot too, because I don't have to be so, you know, nervous when I go into certain areas because people are just, you know, nod, you know, speak, no problems at all. And, uh, you know, as far as like uh, at night, yeah, a lot of these places are very safe to walk at night too, you know. Uh, in Brazil, I do hear some gunshots coming out the favelas at times, yes, but, 
uh, still, there's no death or anything like that that I've had occur. Nothing like that. Uh, not even pickpocketing. You know, people, you know, if they want something from me, a lot of times they're trying to sell you something. You know, that's about it. So that's how I feel as far as safety goes. Uh, let's see. As far as uh, adapting to the culture, at times that can be a little challenging because it's, you know, people eat different kinds of food. Like for example, here in Peru, yeah, it's been, you know, very good food so far that I've tasted. Although, unique tastes because coming from America, I'm used to beef. And here, they don't seem to have cows or at least a lot of cows. So the beef that they use is alpaca. So when I first tasted like, you know, the hamburger, it kind of had a weird taste at first. I'm like, oh, this is definitely is different in taste. And so I had to ask, like, you know, like, and they told me, yeah, it's alpaca. But still, very good. Uh, other things, they eat like a uh, guinea pig or qui, as they call it. That is, I can't say that's my flavor, but I do try different things, you know. So, you know, you have to kind of, you know, do as the people do in the place that you're in. So, uh, that sometimes is a little challenging, but not a big problem at all. Uh, as far as uh, the way they do things, it's just like pretty much anywhere else in America. They have, you know, or in the world, I should say. You know, as far as uh, standard of living, you got everything in an apartment that you have in an apartment in America. You know, you got air conditioning, a stove, refrigerator, couch, flat screen TVs, things like that, you know? There's nothing too different as far as that thing, things like that. So it's just uh, the language, just trying to practice better and get better at that. And, uh, you know, other than that, everybody helps a lot too. Like even if you don't know a lot of Spanish, they go out their way to try to translate it on Google and really try to be helpful. So not having any problems with people at all. Very cool situation here. So, uh, and I would say the last thing I would like to touch on is, uh, do I have any regrets? Because some people I've heard in the comments like, yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna be back, you know? <laughs> and so far, I'm not feeling that way. I'm not feeling that way. <laughs> I'm having a pretty good time here in South America. I'm not sure if I'm gonna live here yet, but I'm not having any issues. I don't feel like I made a mistake. I'm actually quite pleased with the current situation, so. Yeah, that's a few things I just wanted to give you guys, like a life update on my situation living abroad, out of the country of the United States for six months now. I just want to let you guys know how it's going. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, peace.